Well, hello, my friends, and thank you so much for tuning in with me, Letitia McKinney, and welcome to Designing with Letitia McKinney. If this is your first time here and you absolutely love this content, click that subscribe button, turn on your bell ringer, and you should not be missing anything. So today we're going to finish up with our DIY holiday series. Now remember last week I said you guys are going to need an 8 by 8 by 4 box, some bling wrap, and just adhere it with some bonding glue to the box. But make sure that you do spray paint it. Your box does not have to be perfect, okay? We're going to start off using this flower mash wrap however i do want you to know some of the things you can use it for you can use it for your buffet station you can use it for table decor even for your wedding table as well the ideas are so unlimited everyone you just let me know down below what you all will use it for once we are finished with this tutorial now we will be using this flower mash wrap. I use this flower mash wrap for a guide, everyone. Remember we talked about this fix all from the Dollar Tree? We will be using that to adhere our rhinestones onto our flower mash wrap. And remember last week I used this little sweet baby in order to adhere my rhinestones. This is a side note, everyone. Yes, you would add those rhinestones to each flower mash wrap wrap head yes and you will use the fix all when you're doing this i am only going to do just a few i'm not going to do the whole complete box i just want to do this so we can have that sparkly look that we had last week so i'm just going to let you see what i was doing and then you can take it from there We talked about with our last tutorial how shiny our DIY was and that's what I want to do for today. So that's the reason why I wanted to do the whole complete box everyone because we wanted to sparkle like it did last week. Everything that I'm using from beginning to end in this tutorial will be listed in the description box down below. Now I wanted to use products that I can just adhere to this box. I did not want to use all of that hot glue and fix all and E6000. I want this to be as quick as possible. The only thing we should be adhering our flower mash wrap with should be the hot glue. That's the only thing. If you're using anything else, it should have a strong adhesive strip on the back. With this design, everyone, it's gonna be like a puzzle. I'm gonna have a video listed down below and also in that iCard about the, the different ways that I love to do designs like doing it like a puzzle. So right now you see me placing three, right here, a strip of three, and I'm going to place it because we do not want anything to overlap, okay? So that's why I'm doing it this specific way. And you're gonna see me do this throughout the tutorial. I want you to know that the top of our design does have those rhinestones on top. Each flower head has the rhinestone on top. However, on the side, it will not, okay? So I haven't placed any on the side just yet. I will be doing that off of camera. So let's go ahead and finish up on our right hand side facing and then we will move on to our next step once I'm finished with this side. We have one more to go down and then we are completely finished with this side. There we go. Let's make sure that they're pushed in very well. I'm gonna let you get a close shot of what I was doing. You can see where I added the hot glue and then I placed it down firmly and I just 
pushed it in together just to make sure that none is overlapping off of the box. Now this is where I turn the box around everyone because I want the part that I'm completely finished with to be facing me. And as you can see, I'm finishing up on the side going downward. Now we are finished adding on our flower match wrap. Now we're gonna start adding in some pearls. Now these are the ones that have the adhesive strip on the back. Make sure that it is strong everyone because if not, it will come off on you and we do not want that to happen. Now remember to check the description box for everything that I am using in today's tutorial. Now with this strip here, it has the pearls and also rhinestones on there. So it saves me a lot of time, which I absolutely love. However, I'm gonna go ahead and add the pearls right there next. Now you can see why I've added the pearls. I turned the box back around everyone so you all can get a better look. And the pearls only come out so far. So the only thing that you're going to do is just when you go ahead and you just place it onto your box, then you're gonna go ahead and go to your next strip, measure it, and then cut. Now for each strip that you place down, make sure that you mash it down to make sure that it adheres properly. And I do want you all to know this. This is why I chose to use one of our shipping boxes is because they're sturdy and they're strong. So when you're doing a design like this and you want to use a box, make sure that it is the same. In my next scene, you're gonna see where I removed the pearl strip because I came up with this beautiful idea of what I wanted to do with our actual riser. You're gonna see it, it's gonna be beautiful and I know you all are going to love it. Look at it, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? You see how it has that beautiful dazzling look? So that's the actual pattern that I chose to go with. Now our mission here at Designing with Letitia McKinney is to create unique and signature designs that fits our personality and brand. And I feel as if we're doing that today. Now, if you was to just take the fly mask wrap and just throw it on the box and not use any of the techniques that I was showing you before, this is how it will look, my friend. And we want everything to be and look professional. Although we're using a sturdy box, I know a lot of people cannot find things in stores. So that's why I'm giving you guys an alternative that you can use for your home decor or wedding or whatever type of event that you're doing. This is my complete pattern, everyone. So we're gonna start with the pearls and then we're gonna go with the strip of pearls. Then we're gonna go with that adhesive that has the pearls and the rhinestones on there. Then we're going with the flower match wrap. Then we're gonna go back to that same pattern. So that's what we're going to do. Now let's add our signature to our design. So I'm gonna take another strip of these pearls and I'm gonna place them in random places. And remember to make sure you place your rhinestones onto your flower mesh wrap throughout the whole design. And it's really gonna have that beautiful look. See my friends, I do have them on there so I did not cheat on top. However, remember that as we add the fly mesh wrap around the sides that you're gonna add them onto there as well. And right now we are just adding in our signature look. You can see the unique look that we have. So down towards the bottom, we do not have any other pearls. And what you used to see me tap my hand at, that's where we have just the individual pearl strips, okay? So that's what we want to do is just leave that bottom part totally empty and focus on where I'm placing those pearl strips.
here is a close shot everyone I think that's absolutely beautiful and you know how it looks when it's in a light how it starts to have that glitzy look so this is how it looks okay so that's the pattern I showed you guys you know totally like up front how everything looks and it's already starting to sparkle very beautiful and I know you guys have this in your home it's going to be absolutely dazzling so I'm so excited about looking at you guys pictures when you send them to my email here is a close shot of the diamond wrap when I was telling you all in the past video you it does not have to be perfect because look I just placed a fly mesh wrap on top of it so that's why it did not have to be perfect my friends it is going to be covered up with this flower mesh wrap like we did before make sure that you place your hot glue right here on the back of your flower mesh wrap to just give you some guidance so therefore it would not be out of line I want these designs to work side by side the one that we did I think about two weeks ago this design right here I want this one to work with the riser that we're doing for today so that's my focus right here when it comes down to the brooches also using the flower mesh wrap I want those to work together as twins okay now when it comes down to me when coming to the corners I do not like to stop right there at the corner now let's go ahead and we're just gonna leave a little space and then we're gonna place our pearl right here and then we're just gonna go all the way around we're not going to start directly up under the fly mesh wrap just skip a little bit and then we're going to place the pearls now this is the brooch of the day that's why I said everyone I want it to be twins basically with that centerpiece that we did before okay everyone now here we go I'm not going to remove the pin and I'm not going to do the double stack and this is why I want it to rise forward okay so I did not want to use any brooches in order to give it you know get it to kind of stand out a little bit because I feel like it would have been too much so that's why I left the pin on there I made sure that I placed hot glue on each side so therefore it would not come loose and then I just adhered it to now it's called our riser this would be beautiful if you place some of the knobs at the very bottom of it it'll make it stand up and give it that more luxury look too now this is the top of our riser I placed in some pearls on both sides of each corner that we worked on at the bottom of my base I used the riser that we have in our store this is the top I think it's very beautiful out of all the DIYs that we have done together you all let me know down below which one is your favorite we do have so many more to come all right my friends you have a beautiful and safe weekend blessings